Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum. And this is about as close to brand new. I've seen a 73 Suzuki come in here in this decade for sure. Uh, this is an original 1956 miles bike. This is not a restored motorcycle. This is an original motorcycle. Right down to the original Suzuki grips. Let me shut it off so you can hear better. But look at the grips, Kenny. Has the original Suzuki uh, um, tag on there. Uh, the original levers are in beautiful shape. The bars are beautiful. The gauges look to be in brand new condition. Um, these are the hallmarks of a bike that uh, has uh, been well preserved. The original paint shines beautifully. The side covers, the side cover looks like it's NOS new, like it just came out of the box. The upholstery is in good shape. Uh, no rips on the seat. The original chrome on the exhaust shield is, is beautiful. Just a stunning original Survivor with 1,900 original miles. That's like nothing, you know. Uh, I think uh, you'd be hard pressed to find a nicer original. Look at the rims on this thing. The chrome on the rims is beautiful. Uh, usually they're all pitted. The aluminum on the uh, rear brake and the shocks looks great. This one is complete with the turn signals. This is a 1974 model. We have a 73 model that came from the same collector. He was a Suzuki aficionado. He had a, a, a collection of 13 Suzuki TSs. These are uh, the um, 250 model set he had, the 73 in orange, Sunset Orange, and the 74 in red. Kenny, what's the name of this particular red? This is uh, Marble Scarlet. Marble Scarlet Red with the blue and white decals, original factory paint. The front fender is in beautiful shape. The chrome on the front forks is nice. I believe, I'm 95% sure, these are the original tires, which are in mint condition. Ironically, uh, no, I don't see any dry rotting on these original IRCs. Um, I have every reason to believe they are original with 1,900 miles on it. The aluminum on the case is in real nice shape. No cracked cylinder fins. If you look at the bottom of the frame rails, check these out, Kenny. Looks like it just came off the showroom floor in 1974. Hallmark of, of a bike that was not ridden off-road. Off-road, these would be all dented and dinged and rashed up from sticks and rocks and stuff. Uh, none of that shenanigans going on. Uh, it's not leaking oil anywhere. The engine is perfectly tight. We just gone through the bike. I don't. I, I don't have the work going in front of me. I'll go over it when we go inside. But it had uh, about a fifteen hundred dollar bottom line with fourteen hours labor and about one hundred and fifty dollars in parts. The gas tank was taken off and cleaned with Metal Rescue inside, and the outside was uh, clay barred and polished with three coats of Carnuba wax. The Petcock is replaced with a brand new fuel Petcock, brand new fuel lines. The carburetor was cleaned in the ultrasonic carb cleaning tank. The carb is like brand new, uh, cleaned inside and out. The um, compression on this bike turned out to be a perfect 160 PSI. That's factory original perfect. 1900 original miles, you'd expect that. New gear oil, um, brand new UASA top of the line battery. Uh, all the electrical functions work great. The high beam, low beam, the uh, turn signals work, the brake light. Just a fantastic original Survivor in the correct red color, original factory paint. Uh, the seat is in beautiful condition. Look underneath the seat here. This is like, this is another spot I always look on bikes. I look at the frame rails and I look underneath the seat. The seat looks like it just came out of a box. Even this, the, the original shine of the semi-gloss paint is there. The hinges are beautiful, no rust. The foam is not decaying. Sometimes it's like falling out and decaying and the rubbers are all messed up. This looks like it just came out of the box. So. If you want a gift that's going to keep on giving for yourself, you want an investment quality bike that's going to keep on going up in value, this would be the bike. If you're a Suzuki guy and you want a, a nice Suzuki Enduro bike that's got enough power to haul a passenger, this is the one, the 250. The 185 is great, but it's got a little bit less power. You're going to have difficulty pulling passengers up hills. That's enough flapping of the gums. Let's do a quick demo. I'm 250 pounds with gear. Kenny's probably 220, so we got like 400 and 70 pounds watch this thing will take it like nothing and uh it runs like a champ it starts first kick every time and uh it's got fresh gas in it fresh oil this is ready to go A lot of torque on these 250s. You know what I really like about this bike is you don't really have to rev the engine up to go. It's got so much torque down low. Around three, watch, I'll take off around 3,000 RPM. It pulls hard. Cruise along all day long at 50 plus miles an hour.
This is Ken Jr. behind the camera. I'm the sales manager in the cycle shop. If you have any questions on the bike, you can call me during the week at 860-454-7024 or shoot us an eBay message. If you're interested in the bike, you want to get a shipping quote, call me or eBay message us your postal code and I'll get back with you as soon as possible with a, a, an exact quote. Buy with assurance. This bike's got low miles. We have 100% positive feedback on eBay. We've been in business for years and we're also a state funded project. Family owned and operated. All this iron work is courtesy of Joe Marandino. And we have the iconic frog sculpture in front of the cycle shop everyone keeps asking about. Shifts and runs just like you'd expect a brand new motorcycle with 1900 miles to run and shift starts right up brand new battery headlights work great so if you want to take it out on the uh, open road at night you're good to go hot summer nights take your girl out for a ride or take it to the beach whatever you want to do so uh, let's bring it inside and we'll go over the work water real quick a Suzuki buff and he had 13 of these Suzuki Enduros. These are two of the finest from his collection. And uh, this is the 74 model. The 73 is in the sunset orange and this is in the red. The 74 is the lower mileage to the two, 1900 original miles. Both of them pull like a freight train, lots of torque, two up riders, no problem. You can take these off road, on road, pretty much anywhere you want to go. So um, if you have any questions about the bike, give us a call. 860-454-7024. Uh, we can ship the bike anywhere in the country. I don't know if you went over that. You already covered the shipping. So if you want to leave it on display in the museum, you're welcome to, or you can pick it up. Our schedule of events is right here. We're doing bike nights starting April 12th, uh, movie nights starting April 13th, every Friday and Saturday night. And we're doing rock stock with Doug Danger doing a jump here on June 1st at the museum. Three days, 21 bands. We've got three six day, uh, six three day events all next summer, so stay tuned. Um, a portion of the proceeds of this motorcycle are going to fund the museum, so it's going to a great cause. I wish we could keep them all, but uh, we can't. So this is being sold to cover the overhead of the museum and pay for the staff here. So it's going to a great cause, and it's a classic that uh, certainly would look good under anybody's Christmas tree. And with the auction ending around Thanksgiving, there's plenty of time to arrange shipping. Or if you'd like, you can leave it here and come pick it up in the spring at one of our events. So good luck bidding on the bike. Once it's gone, you're going to regret it. So don't miss this one. If it reminds you of your childhood or a bike like it, I had a DT175 that I rode the wheels off of. These little two-strokes are a blast. I had so much fun on it. And you can re relive your youth. Or if you're a kid today and you want a fun classic bike that's a great investment, buy this bike. Check out the aluminum on the, uh, or the chrome on the forks is beautiful. The front aluminum is nice. The uh, chrome on the rims is brand new again the tank's been cleaned brand new fuel lines brand new fuel petcock uh, I forgot to say it has a brand new air filter and a brand new battery um, 
it's been thoroughly recommissioned. So the work order had a total of 14 hours labor plus parts came to $1,504. Uh, just invested into recommissioning the bike. Uh, all the fluids are new, brand new spark plug, brand new battery, brand new air filter, brand new fuel peckock, uh, all new vent hoses, bulbs, and oils. So, and of course, fresh gas. So she's ready to rumble. Give us a call at 860-454-7024. Kenny, is there anything like, else you'd like to add in closing or? Good luck bidding on this classic Suzuki TS250, Savage, and uh, God bless America.